Hi guys, what's up? What we want to do today is we are going to go through our unique learning reading lesson number one, and it has to do with an amusement park. The theme for this summer uh, in virtual learning is uh, leisure and recreation. Leisure and recreation are usually things that you guys choose to do, and they're usually a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we have a lot of choices when it comes to that. We choose what we want to do for fun. Um, I personally, for uh, leisure, I like to sit out in my backyard um, and look at the birds and sit by my pool. Sometimes I like to go for walks. Um, if I'm being super leisurely, I like to come in and I watch TV. Um, and I also have an Xbox One. Yes, I have an Xbox One and I play that too. Um, I also like to play music. Um, as most of you know, I'm a drummer, so I like to play drums. I also like to listen to music uh, in my leisure time. Um, what do you guys like to do for leisure time just when you're hanging around the house? Um, if you want to, comment it down below. Um, I'd be interested to know what you guys like to do in your downtime when you're not doing schoolwork and when you're not helping out around your house. Um, so if you guys want to log in to n2y.com and you want to click on the student, put in your student login information. If you need any help with that, um, definitely reach out to me and let me know. And I will be more than happy to help you log in to your unique learning account. So this way you can follow along with these readings. Um, uh, other than that, I guess what we're going to do is we are going to go through the first reading, which is entitled At the Amusement Park. And it's by Jen Voice. And if you look at the picture, it looks like there's a young gentleman and he's standing in front of a roller coaster. And roller coasters are pretty cool. Some people like them and some people don't. Um, when we go to amusement parks, we have a lot of choices to make. You have a lot of choices on whether you are going to ride certain rides, whether you're going to eat certain foods, whether you're going to check out certain shows. Um, and in Western New York, can you guys think of any amusement parks that are here? I'll give you a minute or a couple seconds. Uh, we used to have two amusement parks, two. Uh, one on Grand Island, and that was called Fantasy Island, and many of you guys I know have gone there. Uh, we've gone there with school in the past. You may have gone there with your families uh, or friends. Uh, unfortunately, they've closed uh, Fantasy Island permanently, and they're selling the rides, and it's kind of sad because now when you drive by Grand Island, uh, that area is getting quite empty. Um, the other choice is uh, Darien Lake Amusement Park. And um, that's out in uh, Darien, New York, near Corfu, pretty far out there. Um, when you go out that way, uh, a lot of people go there just for concerts sometimes. Um, and they have a lot of rides, they have camping um, and lots of food choices and stuff. So that's really, I think, our only choice when it comes to amusement parks. Um, unless you go to uh, Florida or California, you go to Disneyland, Disney World. Uh, there's also Busch Gardens in Florida. Uh, that's an amusement park, but obviously those are big money trips. Uh, but if we're thinking locally, Western New York, Darien Lake is our amusement park that we would probably uh, be venturing out to uh, with your family. Uh, but uh, words we're gonna learn in this reading are amusement park, the word amusement park. What is an amusement park? It's an outdoor area. Obviously it's outdoors. You can't have a roller coaster indoors. I mean, maybe you could prove me wrong. Maybe there is one indoors, but um, they're generally an outdoor area with rides and games and uh, other types of entertainment. Um, when Fantasy Island was around, they used to have entertainment like a dive, a guy diving from real high up in the air and he would dive into a pool that was super duper deep. Um, and then they also had the Western show um, out at Darien Lake. They used to have the Batman show. They used to have that um, really cool um, movie theater that you'd go into and you'd feel like you were on a roller coaster when you weren't. Um, I don't like that one, but uh, you would 
be on a high building or something like that. That's like considered entertainment. Sometimes they have dancing shows and that type of thing. Music during the day as well sometimes. Um, and some things that we're going to learn from this story is that you make your own decisions. Um, decisions are basically, you know, they're choices and you feel good when you make your own decisions. You're independent when you make your own decisions. Um, you make choices every day, uh, whether or not you think about it or not. Um, you've made the choice to watch this video. Uh, good choice. Um, you have the ability and independence to make good choices and bad choices. Um, sometimes we learn from those bad choices, uh, but we always try to make good, positive choices in our lives. Uh, but every day you guys make choices. You make choices on what time you're going to wake up. You make a choice as to what time you're going to go to bed. Um, a lot of you guys have a choice on whether you're not going to have breakfast or lunch or dinner, uh, what foods you're going to have. Um, you have a choice on what foods you like and what foods you don't like. Uh, you have choices on what recreation and what TV shows you like to watch. Those are all choices that you have and that's something that's, you know, independent to you. Um, so we're going to read the story and we're going to read about a kid named Zach. And uh, Zach is going to an amusement park and he's going to have a lot of choices he's going to be making. He's going to be thinking about things that he likes and he's going to be thinking about things that he doesn't like. And, uh, you know, when you're making a choice, you have to think about those things. What do I like? What don't I like? So if we go to page one, uh, we're going to see Zach and he's standing in front of a roller coaster. And Zach is at the amusement park and there's so many new things to see and do. Some things look fun and some things uh, look scary. Zach is excited and he's ready to try new things. What will Zach try? Um, what things in the picture can you see uh, that he could try at the amusement park? Um, there's a lot of different things. Uh, put it behind me over here so you can see all the different things that Zach is looking at at the amusement park. What would you try? You could comment down below. The comment section is totally open for you guys. Comment down below. Page two. Zach sees a merry-go-round. The merry-go-round moves slowly in a circle and the horses on the merry-go-round go up and down. Zach thinks that the merry-go-round looks fun and Zach thinks about what he likes and he thinks about what he doesn't like and he decides to go on the merry-go-round. Would you choose to go on the merry-go-round? I probably would. I like the merry-go-round. It's slow. I don't get dizzy on it. Um, I think some of the uh, horses and the different animals that they usually have on the merry-go-rounds are actually pretty cool um, and merry-go-rounds date back hundreds of years. So they're very, very neat. Some of them are very ornate in their decorations. Page three, Zach sees a roller coaster and the roller coaster moves fast around the tracks. The people on the roller coaster put their hands up in the air and they yell. And Zach thinks the roller coaster looks scary. Uh, Zach thinks about what he likes and he thinks about what he doesn't like. And he decides that he's not going on that roller coaster. Would you choose to go on the roller coaster? I would. I like roller coasters, um, especially ones that go up and down in circles and stuff. Those ones are actually a lot of fun for me. Uh, but for other people, they're scary. So comment down below if you like to go on roller coasters. What is your favorite roller coaster to go on? What's the name of it? I'd be interested to hear that. And where have you been on it? Zach sees a pirate ship or pirate ship ride and the pirate ship ride swings back and forth. The people on the ride laugh and they smile and Zach thinks the pirate ship looks big. Zach thinks about what he likes, he thinks about what he does not like, and he decides to go on the pirate ship. Would you choose to go on the pirate ship? The pirate ship's kind of cool, you just gotta make sure you empty your pockets. Do you ever see anybody get on the pirate ship and it goes back and forth and sometimes when it goes upside down, all their money falls out of their pockets? It's terrible. Um, but uh, I don't like the one that goes upside down, just the one that goes back and forth. So would you go on the pirate ship? Page five, Zach sees a water slide and the water moves down the slide. People slide down the water slide on rafts. Zach thinks about what he likes and he thinks about what he does not like. He decides not to go on the water slide. 
Would you go on the water slide? If it's warm outside, that might not be such a bad idea. But if it's cold outside, I might choose not to. What would you choose to do? Page six. Zack sees a balloon dart game. The dart moves in the air towards the dartboard. People cheer when their dart hits a balloon. Zack thinks the balloon dart game looks hard but fun. Zack thinks about what he likes and then he thinks about what he doesn't like. He thinks and he decides to play the balloon dart game. Would you play the balloon dart game? You might be able to win a poster or some kind of stuffed animal. Could be kind of cool. But you gotta remember when you play those games, they usually cost extra money. So you have to pay in order to play. Page seven. Zach likes to go to the amusement parks and there's so many things for him to try. There are many choices for him to make and Zach likes to make his own decisions. What would you choose to try at the amusement park? So think back to that first uh, picture where we were thinking about things that we'd like to try at the amusement park. What would you like to try at the amusement park? Um, would it be the roller coaster? Would it be the merry-go-round? Uh, would it be bumper cars? Log ride? There's so many different things that you can choose to ride at the amusement park. What foods might you want to try? Think about all the different foods that are there. So some tips. There are decisions that you can make. There are many decisions that you can make. Um, and like I said, you guys make independent uh, decisions all day long and you're not even thinking about it, but you're making decisions and choices for yourself. Again, like I said, you're choosing to watch this video. Hopefully you're watching it to the end. We're only like 12 minutes in. That's not too bad for a lesson. Think about your choices before making a decision. Because say you're hungry and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. And the first thing you see is hot dogs. And you're like, okay, fine, I'll just eat the hot dogs. But you don't walk around and you don't see your choices. And you're in the middle of eating your hot dog and then all of a sudden you're like, oh man, there's a pizza stand here. If you just would have held off your decision making and didn't jump into making a choice so quickly, you could have had that slice of pizza. You could have had something that you enjoyed. Um, and you want to think about what you like and what you don't like before making a decision. Um, so if you know you get dizzy on rides that spin around in circles and you're with a friend and they're like, yo, let's go on that ride that goes around in circles. And you don't think about the fact that you get sick when you go on those kinds of rides and dizzy and you go on there with them, it could ruin the rest of your day. Uh, so you have to be able to know what you like and what you don't like um, in order to make those informed, good decisions for yourself. So um, with that, that ends this reading. And what I'm gonna have you guys do is answer the questions since you're logged into your unique learning account. Um, and you're going to answer the questions and I'm going to see your answers. Um, also, uh, in the comments down below, I would like you to at least comment on the fact that you watched the video. Just say I'm here. Um, hey Weber. Um, if you want to talk about what your favorite amusement park uh, that you've gone to uh, is, that'd be awesome. Um, maybe some of you have gone to different places, like maybe you've gone to Florida and you've gone to Busch Gardens or Disneyland, Disney World, um, or Cedar Point out in Ohio. There are so many different amusement parks all around the country, and I haven't been to any of them except for um, Darien Lake, and I have been to Busch Gardens. I take that back. I went there years and years and years ago, um, but such a long time ago I kind of forgot about it but if you've been to an amusement park I'd like to hear about it um what amusement park and did you have fun what was your favorite part what was your favorite ride maybe you had some kind of special food when you were there that they don't have everywhere else I'd be very interested to hear that so uh that ends our first unique learning lesson uh with regards to reading and uh, we'll be back on here tomorrow uh doing more lessons <coughs> with you guys and if you have any questions, make sure that you email me, um, have your parents, parents email me uh, any questions you might have. Feel free to comment down below because uh, I'll be logged in uh, both on Schoology and on YouTube. Take care.